It's really hard to find an honest mechanic. Mechanics will prey upon your ignorance. They know you don't know about cars. I don't expect you to work on your own car, but you should have an understanding of what's going on. And that's why I explain to the best of my ability how your car works. Hey, Project Fam, this is part two of a video. So if you didn't see the first part, check it out here. Just to get you caught up, I've been having a leak in my car for a long time. I've been seeing antifreeze dripping out. Antifreeze and engine coolant is exactly the same thing. Normally it's a green fluid that leaks out of the front part of your car under your engine. Sometimes it's light blue and you see a puddle leaking out it's a little frustrating and i've been filling it up but over time that leak just got to be way too much so to try to figure out exactly what the problem was i think i figured it out and i went and i bought some parts now i just set out to working on the car and trying to figure out how to get these pieces off this was not an easy job i could understand why it would take a mechanic sometimes hours to do a simple job so enjoy this video and i hope you learned something so as we get started with part two of this video I am assembling things. I removed all of the hoses that were damaged and now I am replacing them with new and improved hoses, the silicone hoses. Those silver clamps there picked up from local parts store, nothing special. Use a screwdriver to loosen and unloosen. I'm using some dishwashing liquid there as a lubricant. I tried not to use anything that had like real oil in it because I didn't want to mess up the hose or uh, introduce something that'll stick around for a long time. Then I use my special hose clamp to, I'm actually putting back the old, see the black spring on the end of that hose? That's the spring that came off the car. Um, I've read you should only use it once. Some of them I use more than once. I could have purchased new springs, but they looked pretty good. Now I'm slowing this down because uh, those, that black hose and the red hose are different sizes. You should always measure your parts when you're installing new parts. And it was at that moment I realized that I might have a problem because that red hose was about half an inch longer than the OEM, which stands for Original Equipment Manufacturer, I think it is, OEM. So I knew I was gonna have a problem, but if I can use this hose without cutting it and modifying it, then there's no issue. So no problem. Again, I am putting on the old hose clamps and now I'm actually fussing to get this longer hose in place and I am having issues. It's just not fitting in. And there I'm putting my air filter box on and I actually had to cut off about, that might be a half inch I cut off and now I'm just trimming it down a little bit. I just used a single edge razor blade, razor blade, and I graduated to some gloves, washed my uh, ashy hands and trying to keep it clean. Can't stand dirt underneath the nails and if you don't wear gloves doing this type of work, you will get dirt underneath your nails. Now that I've trimmed this hose, um, it's, it's easier to go in. I almost thought I cut too much off because it was way too easy to go in, but no, it worked out perfectly. Again, the logos are pointing up. Most manufacturers want to show off their product. And if you install, you know, this hose and the logo, you can't see it, then there's a problem. Maybe you didn't put the um, hose on the correct way. And I'm calling it a hose, it's not really a hose. And there I am tightening up one side. At this point, I've already changed those heater hoses that you see toward the rear of the car that's already done 
and it's red so it's pretty easy to see and now I'm going to measure the driver's side and that actually did not need to be cut that was a good measurement so for whatever reason the passenger side large hose like the one I'm holding in my hand there it was off I don't know why um, there were no instructions saying that you should trim it but these are some of the things that you will run into see that's a good fit when you're working on your car and modding your car I'm not doing too much modding but this particular hose is a modification and now that my hoses are all in place yes I, I just kind of fast forward through that now this is a spill proof funnel kit if you didn't see my video on my product review I actually did a longer product review and I didn't fast forward it please take a look at that so what I'm using is um, I'd like to burp my system and get all the air bubbles out of the system so I'm using that refill kit and that green adapter that it, that goes right on to the top of my radiator to essentially pour coolant or antifreeze again same thing and just let it on its own work its way down into the car getting rid of the air bubbles and filling the voids left by the air bubbles with fluid yeah I'm gonna fast forward through this good it's just showing you how much coolant um, I am adding and my system was fairly full because although it was leaking I've been adding to it so based on how much I removed from the system I have an idea how much I'm going to put back into the system and now I've started the car and it is smoking because I did spray lubricant and things to get the gasket off but after all that burns off this is what it looks like now what I'm doing is I did bring it outside and just to add a little bit more antifreeze and to show you the cool thing about this funnel type system I just added the plunger so now I can take it off and nothing will leak out and what you are supposed to do is then to take the residual that's left in that funnel and just pour it in the overflow to your radiator again pay attention not to overfill your overflow there is a min and max line on that overflow and it's really hard to see from this angle so I'm not even going to show it but you have to get really close to it and basically that is it project is done the car is no longer leaking I applied a pressure test to it and there are no air bubbles there are no leaks and the car seems like it's good to go if that engine looks a little clean it is I did a light wash to it and I'm actually going to show that in another video once the caps back on I can close the hood and be confident that I can drive this car and it will not overheat because of problematic hoses. Hey, thank you all for watching. Look forward to my next video.